And then just let your breathing get full, but soft. Just your natural breath. And close your eyes. Bring your awareness to the center of your body. You'd like your heart center. Just feel where that is. Mm. And if you'd like, you can bring the awareness of the Stargate into that area, or the Lemurian Sisterhood Master or a symbol into your field, into your heart, or whatever feels right to you that gives you that singular place of focus and allowing. Hmm. And then see if you can just gently sink into that with your next breath a little more deeply. And feel your neck relax and your shoulders. And let the chair just hold you up, support you. Feel the energy in the room, the hug of spirit around each one of us and around the whole family. And relax into those arms, knowing that there is nothing you need to do but rest in this moment, giving yourself to the love and the awareness inside of you and around you and the love that comes from the message from the magnetic master, Cryon. Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Do you really know what's happening here? Dear human, the creative source which you have come from is so in love with you. The only barrier, the only barrier to full communication from us is free choice. You must be free not to accept. And we can't wave flags and we can't give you things to, to prove it. You gotta look. And by looking, it isn't a switch, a button you press, it's, it's none of those. It's, it, it is a, a very small, point within your psyche, within your intellect, within that place in your pineal and in your innate that says, I wonder if it's real. The I wonder experience starts a snowball rolling that could be stopped at any time by you. But until you say, I wonder, nothing happens. And that's because the honor we have of humanity demands free choice. This entire scenario of Earth and the way it has occurred, whether you call it a simulation, is a plan. It's a plan that is so magnificent, I can tell you that it has been done before on other planets. There is protocol. We have seen it before. 
But the, but the consciousness and the confluence of consciousnesses must agree in order to change the planet in the way we see it changing. And the cycles of time and the place the earth is in space that we have talked about before all combine so that the time is now. It's the reason I'm here. Maybe it's the reason you're in the chair now in front of me or listening to this message. You're wondering what's up. Is there something perhaps I haven't been told you're saying? And the answer is no, we've been telling you for 26 years. And before that, there were those telling you, the ancients told you. And what I want to give you in this short little message is going to be continued tonight. The beauty of growing up. And what happens to humanity? You make an assumption. And so many humans, those listening, make an assumption. That you know how things work. And you look at the cycle of history. And you say it's going to happen again like that. Now we said that yesterday. But now let's enhance it. Humanity has had one consciousness. As long as you've been alive. Your parents. Your parents' parents. All the way back to the beginning. And if you want to see proof of that, all you have to do is look at the history of humanity and war. Something that makes no sense whatsoever, where nobody wins, is then repeated over and over. And so what you must say is, when it comes to wisdom on the planet, you're not very wise. Because you keep repeating things that simply do not work. Why would you then expect a change? In your defense, if you're listening to this right now, and you're an unbeliever, and somebody has told you to listen, the logic says, stop listening. Because it's not going to get any better, it never has. That's human nature. And what we're saying to you today, if you would give the possibility and the potential of a change of human nature based upon everything we're telling you that we're seeing in history in your children and all those there may very well be reason to take a look <coughs> parents listen you have children and when they're eight years old you treat them a certain way they're at that that interesting age where they are seeing Adolescence approaching. It's not there yet. And their life requires you to be with them, to guide them, to discipline them in a way that they perhaps would not understand at eight. They got to report to you, they got to be in sight of you, they got to come home after school, you got to know where they are. That's an eight year old. And that is the system that you have of love for your child. And it is a system of love, isn't it? Oh, you love them so much. You want to make sure they're protected because eight is, a, is an age where they don't know much. They really don't. They don't have any wisdom yet. You're their wisdom. They don't understand it. Turn the page. 11 years later, and they're 19. They may be even ready to leave. Maybe they have. How do you treat them now? Young adults with free choice. Do they have to come home? Not really, no. Do you love them still? <laughs> More than ever. They've grown up. They've got personalities of their own. They're beautiful. They're young women and young men. And you celebrate their life, but you don't treat them like they were eight. Now, when consciousness remained at eight years old, 
for thousands of years we treated you as being eight and now you're growing up and dear ones that is why the interactive energy between God and humanity is starting to elevate and shift and change and that requires you to relax with the way we talk to you and what we do and how it works and religious people and systems and churches all over the earth are going to argue with this and say God is the same today yesterday forever there's no reason to think God is going to treat you any different today and there is a reason because you have grown up the wisdom factor is starting to shift and change the old souls are carrying it along with the children first you're starting to see it on the planet and the energy we have and how we discuss things how we work with you what's going to happen next starts to actually morph and change tonight we're just going to cover a couple of them but you got to see it and you got to know why and understand the love not only has it not changed it's increased because of the potentials of where it's going that's why it feels different healer that's why it's not the same as it was five years ago reader that's why it's not the same those of you who have been light workers all your life all your life and here comes this energy you don't know what to think is it bad is it good have you lost something have you gained something because you've never experienced it before so I'll close with this The 19 year old is treated totally different, is given more freedom. At Christmas time, the gifts look a little different, don't they? I want you to see that and understand that. The gifts look different. And maybe you haven't seen it yet. Maybe you don't know even what they are, what they do. But believe me, they're grand, they're big because we love you and that is the truth <laughs> and so it is